Skate Pack, Quacky here. Today, we're going to be going over my Congress settings. It's been requested quite a lot from you guys over on Twitch and on YouTube as well. So I thought I'd be fitting. Now that I got my settings all set in stone, might as well make the video. If you guys do enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like as well as subscribe to the channel post notifications. Also, I do stream every single day on Twitch. A link to that will be down below. Anywho, let's jump right into the settings. All right, back. So here we are in Crunker now. Let's jump right into the settings. So I'm going to kind of go from top to bottom, explaining why I have everything I do, giving recommendations along the way, depending on what's, what your rig is looking like. Uh, just as a disclaimer, this game is very CPU based. So if you guys are asking how you get a lot of FPS and whatnot, it is your processor that's mainly doing all the work for you. But anywho, let's kind of just go down the list here. Default region, I have Sydney because I live in Australia. Language, English. I'm a primary English speaker. Performance, resolution. I'll leave it one. To be honest, there's not much of a difference from one to two. It's just a slight anti-aliasing effect. I personally would just keep it on one. Frame cap. This is very subjective to your rig. Uh, some people do have issues with input skipping which is where you're just walking around the map and you just kind of do a little tiny rubber banding effect uh this mainly happens when your fps goes above 650 to 700 i actually had that issue myself until recently so i don't have input skips so i do leave my frame cap uncapped but if you are getting frame skips it's more of a rise in issue but if you do get them cap it to where you won't get the input skips anymore best way to test that out is just going on little town and walking along the grass and if you see the grass skipping at all then just lower your frame rate just 50 by 50 just till you can find that sweet spot aspect ratio i leave on native 1920 by 1080 that's just my monitor resolution uh low spec i turn that off i don't like having no legs i like seeing the legs in my model particles i leave off for performance reasons shadows leave off and as well as ambient shading for performance bullet trails i do leave on it's just nice to know where you're getting shot from time, time to time and if you're doing some trick shots it's always cool to see where the bullet's going muzzle flash that's like that annoying little flash that comes out of your weapon i leave that off sniper flap i leave it off it's personal preference it's just a tiny little cosmetic that goes over the scope of your sniper Texture animations and object animations, I'll leave them both on. I just like seeing animated sprays and contraband animations, and as well as the TV Tron, so I leave that on. Screen shake, I would just leave that off. It's just not worth having on it, in my personal opinion. UI scale, I actually have this set to 0.1, but just for the sake of visibility for the video, I have it as one. Uh, the reason being is it's just, it's a tiny performance gain, but it's just so you, I can see more on the screen of you know what I'm doing and whatnot. Use old scoreboard. I actually just recently turned this on uh, just because it's kind of annoying for me to always press my mouse button and check the leaderboard, so I just leave it on. Uh, and it's always nice to have at the top right, especially with the point one UI skill. It's not that much in the way, so I just leave that on. Dynamic HP bars, I actually leave this on, so a lot of people leave it off, but I just like seeing a little tiny health bar animation, that's just my own personal little preference. Uh, if you guys want the absolute most performance, you can turn it off, I just like how it looks. Show hit indicators, I'll leave off for the sake of performance, as well as show damage. Uh, it can get quite annoying just seeing a bunch of numbers flying around the screen when you're dealing damage to your opponent. Show, ta show chat box. I do leave this on always. It's just nice to see everyone's chats from now and then. Show kill feed on, of course. Kill counter on. Death counter. I don't really like to show the death counter, to be honest with you. Uh, street counter on. Spectator count. All this on, on. Unboxings on. Show ping on, of course. Show FPS on. I like to see if, you know, if I'm getting any FPS dips, so I can just see that. Uh, show movement speed. I leave it off. It's just performance, and it just gets a little annoying, so... With that being said, the speed X and Y, I just don't worry about those. Show medals, I personally have this off. Uh, I recommend having this off as well, unless you're doing challenges where you need to see if you're getting long shots and whatnot, then I would turn that on. But personally, I would just keep it off. Name tag display, I leave this on everyone. Some people like to put it on just uh, health only for the style just for the sake of visibility. I personally just leave it on everything. It doesn't bother me that much. There's this new setting that they added recently. It's called name tag health number. So basically when you see an opponent, 
then they have that red bar above their character, it'll actually show you how much health they have inside that red box. It's pretty neat. So if you guys want to try that, you can. Now for the crosshair, I just recently switched to the end game option. I actually didn't know they added this precision option. So if you guys didn't know, they added a precision type crosshair. So now you can actually put a gap in your crosshair now, instead of just having that plus sign, which is really nice. Uh, the crosshair is subjective to your UI scale. So my crosshair will look the same only if you're on point one UI. If you're on one or a larger UI scale, you will have to adjust the settings accordingly. If you guys do want to take a screenshot and whatnot, those are my adjustments right there. I, I will also leave a text document as well for all my settings that you can import into your client. Uh, my sensitivity, I have as 0.7. Uh, as a general rule of thumb, I would recommend a sensitivity that you would be comfortable doing 180s with because you're going to be doing a lot of 180 slide hopping and whatnot. 0.7, 800 DPI is quite high. Uh, I just like playing a higher sense. Some people like playing a lower sense. It's all personal preference. Scroll direction I have on. Stream mode off because honestly, the stream mode doesn't really work. It, it always scrambles the names the same way and people can just get around that. So I just have that off. Challenge mode I have off unless I have to do it for one of the challenges. Invert Y axis off. Controller settings, I personally don't use them, but if you guys are gonna be playing controller on Crunker, have your sensitivity as low as you possibly can. I'd recommend like 0 0.1, 0 0.2 max. Um, dead zones, dead zones are however far you move your analog stick, so the further the higher your dead zone, the more you have to move your analog stick for any movement to occur. And the vice versa, the lower your dead zone is, the less movement you have to use uh, to put through to activate movement. But at the same time, it's also something called stick drifting to where the sticks will just kind of move your character around without you wanting it to. So adjust the dead zone accordingly to your liking. Audio is subjective to your system. These are my personal audio settings. I don't really have a high ambient volume at all. Voice, I leave off for the sake of streams. Uh, gun volume, I leave low. Uh, I leave player volume quite high just so I can hear footsteps and all that. View model, uh, field of view I have is 105. The reason being is it's a bit easier to see players on the screen with a slightly zoomed in FOV. I'd recommend an FOV of anywhere from like 100 to 120. That's just my personal recommendation. Weapon OPV, I just leave as max. I like seeing my weapon a lot. Weapon bobbing doesn't really matter because sometimes I just have show up and off. But if I do have show up and on, I have it as 0.4. Just seems right for me. My leaning is on one. I get asked for my offset a lot, so here's my offset, 0.6 for the X, 2 for the Y, and 0.9 for the Z. Now weapon aim animation, I actually have that off, it just, so when you aim in with a sniper for example, you kind of have that little animation that you do when you aim in, I personally have it off, so I just flash scope someone, it just looks nice to me, it's personal preference. Hide weapon on ADS, I have this on actually. I don't really like aiming down my sights and then having, you know, all the models showing up. Just takes up the screen, so I have that on. Uh, show hands I have on, show primary I have on, secondary I have off. I just don't like seeing the secondary really. Sometimes I'll even have primary off as well. You actually do get a slight performance boost having the primary and hands off. Show melee, I like having my knife, so I like having that on. Uh, pop out score. So this is just where the score is positioned on the screen. Uh, you guys can copy my settings accordingly. Uh, if you guys do copy my settings, it'll show just slightly above the crosshair and it's quite small. I like it personally. Uh, saturation. Honestly, having a one saturation makes the game look quite dull. I'd recommend at least like a 1.5 saturation. There is a slight performance hit, but honestly, it's worth it to have the more vibrant colors. So honestly, I would have it as at least like 1.52. Uh, saturation UI, that's just a saturation of like the actual UI feed itself. 
Uh, so if you have it as zero, it's going to be grayscale. Have it all the way up, it's going to be bright AF. Saturated AF, I should say. Uh, color hue just shifts the colors around in game. I personally have this as zero. UI just changes the UI hub. I have that as zero. Uh, vignette is more of a cinematic effect. So you can, if you're using like footage for montages, you can have this all the way up and it just creates a sh inner shadow all along your screen. I personally have it off because I don't have a need for it. Uh, chat opacity, I was 0.5 just so you can kind of see through the chat at the bottom left just in case. Chat background, I just like seeing the text very well, so I have that as one. And everything here is just default. So there's chat high 2.5, chat timer, and kill feed limit. Bullet tracers, I'm still experimenting with. I actually have this off. Uh, so if you guys don't know, they just recently added a setting to where you can turn off the bullets coming out of your gun, the actual visual of it. Uh, some people love it, some people don't. I'm still experimenting with it. Right now I have it off. Um, and so far I'm kind of liking it. Load mod, auto load mod. So I actually use my own mod, it's called Quacky. If you guys want to look it up, just search Q-U-A-C-K-Y. It's uploaded by me. Uh, it just gives smooth textures and different weapon sounds if you guys want to check that out. Also put it in the description as well. Scope borders I have off. That's just all the black boxes that go around your scope when you aim down sight. I have that off. Don't really see why you'd have it on personally. I just have it off. Uh, my scope image is actually just a blank PNG file. My hit marker image is actually from Phil's Goodman. I actually got this from him. I'll leave a description for all, all these images as well down below. And as well as there's gonna be a text file for everything. Uh, vertical image, I believe I just have as a blank image as well, but that doesn't really matter because you can just go to customize and then just go to reticle and then just have it as none, so. Okay. My match end message is hashtag stop the shotgun because let's be honest, we need to stop the shotgun. And everything else I have no images for. So that's gonna be my settings guys. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like as well as commenting down below what you guys wanna see next time. With that being said, I will see you all in the next one.